here's 15 YouTube settings you need to change if you want your channel to go viral. Setting number one is publish to subscription feed. Now, if we scroll down on a video all the way down here and you can see there's a setting called publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. If this is grayed out for you, don't worry. The reason it's grayed out for you is because if the video has already been uploaded, that means the setting is permanent. And when you're uploading a new video, you'll be able to change this setting here. Now, if this setting is not ticked and it doesn't have a tick right here, that means your video is not being published to your subscription feed and notifying your subscribers, meaning you're missing out on a lot of views. Nowadays, most views come from browse features and homepage recommendations, so subscribers don't matter as much. However, if you're building a fan base that want to come back for videos, this setting is essential and it needs to be turned on on your videos. Setting number two is do you want to set your channel as made for kids? Now to get to this setting, you just go on settings, channel and then advanced settings. Now this setting section is actually called the copper section. I highly, highly recommend selecting no, set this channel as not made for kids. I almost never upload content that's made for kids. And maybe you're thinking, well, my video has no swearing in and kids might actually enjoy my video. That doesn't mean it's made for kids. It actually just means kids take an interest in your video. It's not necessarily made for children. It's made for both adults, children, or any age. On the other hand, if you're making content that's primarily made for children, meaning children under the age of 13, then you should change the setting here to yes, set this channel as made for kids. Now, the reason we want to set no, set this channel as not made for kids is because our videos will not get recommended as much as the setting was yes, set this channel as made for kids. So it's extremely important that you do that. The third setting is downloading this essential tool. So you are titling and tagging your videos correctly so they can go viral. Now, as you can see, I'm on the videos detail page of my video and I have title suggestions here that I could use on my video to rank my videos better. Now, this tool is called vidi. IQ. It's a Chrome extension. Now, all you need to do to get this is go to the video description and just click the link to take you over to vidIQ. Once you're on here, you want to come up to the extension page and install Chrome extension. You'll be then able to see the same settings that I have on my video. After downloading the vidIQ Chrome extension, we'll have the keyword inspector, which will help us get the correct ranking tags for our videos, meaning we'll get more views. This is a must for for not only small content creators, but big content creators too, because vidIQ is constantly adapting and changing as YouTube does too. It's gonna to streamline our process and make our videos more optimized to get more views and essentially go viral. The fourth setting is the allow automatic chapters and key moments. Chapters and key moments make your videos easier to watch. You can overwrite automatic suggestions by creating your own chapters in the video's description. Essentially, what this setting does is it automatically adds chapters and key moments to your video. Now, if we click my video here, it hasn't done them already on the video. It hasn't automatically added them. But if we didn't want to automatically add chapters and key moments, we could turn this off and we could manually do it ourselves. So let me show you how you would do that. You would come down into the description, type in the time that we'd want. So for example, we can do 000, we would type in introduction. And then we could add another timestamp and go at 15 seconds is the first setting. We can now see on the video, we have the chapters that we just manually added and it says introduction and then first setting. I'm going to remove that as for this video, I don't actually need chapters. So I'm just going to enable the allow automatic chapters and key moments, which actually uses YouTube's inbuilt AI to automatically detect that. The fifth setting is the featured places setting. This actually helps viewers explore key places in your videos like 
public places or shops. However, it doesn't display your current location or other private info. If you're a travel YouTuber and maybe you're exploring a location, this setting should be turned on and you want to let your viewers know where you're at. However, I'm just going to turn this off as I don't really want people knowing where I am. I'm just trying to educate and help people. The sixth setting is allow automatic concepts. This helps viewers learn more about unfamiliar terms without leaving the video. However, this is an experimental feature and it doesn't always recommend the accurate concepts within the video. So I'm actually going to turn this off as I always want accurate information within my videos as I'm trying to educate people and help people in the right direction. I don't want to misguide anyone and I actually want to provide correct information. So I'm going to turn this off. The seventh setting here is the license. Now currently on this video, I have standard YouTube license, meaning people can't just reuse my content and then just upload it without actually having the correct permission. Now, if we actually change this to Creative Commons attributes, that means people will be able to reuse our content. Now, that might seem like a bad thing. However, in a lot of cases, people reusing your content is actually free marketing. It's going to help your YouTube grow. So don't look at it like it's a bad thing. Changing this to Creative Commons if you want to allow people to use your content so you can gain free marketing. The eighth setting is adding multiple sections on your channel. When people create a new channel, they usually always mess up their channel by leaving it looking pretty bland like this. When in reality, you want your channel actually looking like this with different levels of content for people to go through and watch videos. Now to change that, all you have to do is come up to customize channel, go to home tab, and then you'll be able to change the layout of your channel. Now, if you've got multiple videos on your channel and you don't have a channel trailer, I recommend adding a channel trailer onto your channel by adding one up here. And basically a channel trailer shows a video to a new subscriber on your channel. We then have the featured video for returning subscribers. So subscribers that are coming back to your channel recommended with this video as well. We then have the for you section on your channel where YouTube recommends fresh content based on your viewers interests. This is really good as it's taking the users interests of their past content that they've watched on their channel and then recommending videos on your channel to them that they may like. Like. I also highly suggest adding a section that is a playlist. You can do that by coming over here, add section and adding a single playlist. I've done this with my playlist as well. And then underneath that, I have popular videos. And then what that will do is that will fill out your channel and it will make it look way more professional and way more appealing for not only your subscribers, but new subscribers as well. The ninth setting is completing all the featured eligibility settings. Now to do that, you come to the settings tab, channel and featured eligibility. Now, if these don't all say enabled, I highly recommend that you do them all. If you don't do the first one, you won't even be able to upload videos. You've probably done this already, but if you haven't done number two and number three, you won't be able to upload videos over 15 minutes with custom thumbnails and live streaming. Number two is essential because you need custom thumbnails. Maybe your videos aren't over 15 minutes, but thumbnails are essential for growing your channel. And then number three, advanced features is increased daily videos, uploads and live streams. And maybe you're thinking, well, I only upload one video a day. Why would I need to enable advanced features on my channel? Well, this is something I teach in YT Blueprint. The first link in the description will take you there. And YT Blueprint is a 30 day blueprint, which shows you step by step on how to start and scale a channel to go viral and monetize it to start making money. And it will show you exactly how you can get your own 1 million subscriber plaque just like this. Setting number 10 is changing your channel's country of residence. Now to do this, you go to settings, then channel, and you'll be able to see country of residence. I'm currently set to United Kingdom as that's where I'm personally from, but you want to be changing this to where you're making videos from. Now you might be thinking, well, if I change this to United States, well, my videos will be getting recommended to people in the United States. And that is totally untrue changing this to that setting will not recommend your videos to people in that place. This setting is actually purely for tax purposes. I'm not going to go too much in depth with that, but when you get your channel monetized, you'll have to fill out forms based on where you're making videos from. Setting number 11 is adding sub confirmation to your channel. The first thing you want to do is actually open up Word or any text document and copy your channel URL. You then want to paste it into the channel document and then at the end of the URL, you want to type in question mark sub 
underscore confirmation equals one. And now when you actually copy that and then paste it into the bar and enter, you will actually get this setting that pops up and it says confirm channel subscription. Are you wanting to subscribe to whatever your channel name is? And then it will say subscribe. And this is a really, really good prompt to have in your channel video description. Now, for example, a place I could add that is somewhere in my description. So when a potential subscriber goes down here and clicks that, instead of clicking the subscribe button here they might be taken to there or another example of using it is actually putting on your Twitter bio. Now, this is my Twitter and I could actually add that as a link in here. And when Twitter followers come on here and click that link, they'd be taken over to my YouTube channel with the prompt to subscribe, which has a higher percentage of people subscribing because it's popped up on their screen. Setting number 12 is adding a watermark on your videos. Now to do this, you just come to customize channel. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see a video watermark. Now I'm gonna remove this just for the purpose of this video but if it just displays this and it says upload you want to click upload and I'm going to be using this image that says subscribe with the mouse hand over it it basically indicates someone to subscribe this is something called a call to action now I'm going to upload that and add it to my video. And then once that's uploaded, you wanna change the display time to entire video and then click change. And then if I actually click on a video here, you'll be able to see in the bottom right corner, it has subscribe displaying in the bottom right of my video. So instead of you having to just use your words and tell people to subscribe, which actually lowers retention because most of the time people will just subscribe if they want to subscribe not based off you telling them to subscribe. So them seeing this in the corner will actually just tick in their brain that, oh, maybe I should subscribe to this channel. It's a very, very important feature to have on your videos so you can get subscribers. Setting number 13 is adding keywords to your channel. To do this, you just go to settings, channel, and then basic info. It will then display all the keywords here and you can add them to your channel just by literally typing in the box here. Now, what this does is it will rank your channel in the appropriate areas that you're adding the keywords in. For example, my channel is gonna get recommended in the how to grow on YouTube niche, YouTube monetization, and so on. Now, to figure out what the top ranking keywords are in your niche. Again, you would use vidIQ, the Chrome extension that I mentioned earlier on in the video. And again, you can go to the link in the description to go over that and actually get your account and add that Chrome extension. Setting number 14 is adding a description to your channel. In the newest YouTube update, adding a description is extremely important as the first line of the description actually is displayed on your channel homepage. So, so having a relevant channel description is very important, but I also suggest keeping it extremely short and relevant to your channel. For example, my goal on my channel is to help people make money and grow on YouTube. And that's it. Don't overcomplicate it and make it straightforward and to the point. Setting number 15 is upload defaults on your channel. To do this, you come to settings, then upload defaults. Now what we're doing here is we're actually going to be adding a default description for all of our videos. We're also gonna be adding a default visibility and adding relevant tags. So for example, I have my first link at the top of the description, which is my school YT blueprint. And these will automatically be in the description for every video I upload, which is extremely important and saves me a lot of time for me having to do this every time I upload a video. It's also essential that you change the visibility default on here as well. I highly suggest that you change the video to either unlisted or private. I'm going to change it to unlisted as I don't want my video to automatically go public after it's finished processing. That's all the settings for this video. But if you want to learn more and you actually want to succeed on YouTube, I highly, highly suggest clicking the first link in the description. That'll take you to YT Blueprint. In YT Blueprint, I show you a short form mastery course and a YouTube long form course that'll teach you absolutely everything you need to know about how to go viral. But again, please only go over to YT Blueprint if you're really serious about YouTube and actually being successful.